it's finally been confirmed with new hints of the season's final event and Fortnite's upcoming collaboration trailers released early. It is fair to say this Fortnite's update has been giant. So let's check it all out. A brand new Fortnite's trailer has been released online and there's no mistaking which collaboration this is for. But before this, we've got to talk about this right here. Giant robot head at the top of the mega city has finally been named and players have discovered that this is officially Mecha Godzilla. A model for Mecha Godzilla has been found. And if you actually compare the design of Mecha Godzilla to the giant robot's head of the mega city, we can quite clearly see there are similarities between the two, confirming that this is actually Mecha Godzilla. Or maybe to be more precise, this seems to be a future upcoming Mecha Godzilla that Epic Games is working on to play a part in this season's final event. There are many similarities between the giant robot's head at the mega city and the model of Mecha Godzilla himself. Both have spiky spines that can be found running down the back of the models. The hands of both Mecha Godzilla and the robots in our game are not designed to be human hands, but some kind of weird three-fingered robot hands. And even the face structure actually perfectly matches Mecha Godzilla. Players have even removed the heads of Mecha Godzilla and added the giant robot's Mecha City dragon head on top, and it's literally identical. You can literally almost not even tell the difference. Mecha Godzilla was one of the giant monsters that could be found in the Godzilla film. He is called Mecha because he is Godzilla, but he's actually a robot that was made to fight the giant beast. Mecha Godzilla is designed to be the same size as Godzilla himself, but he's armed with a bunch of secret weapons that can be seen in the films. In fact, recently on this channel, we've talked about these secret weapons that can be found on the giant robot's head at the Mega City. How thrusters can be found at the back of the model. Lasers can be seen underneath the eyes of the beast. And of course, a giant flamethrower that resides in the mouth of this monster. It seems this robot's head has a bunch of weapons. And so does Mega Godzilla. Just another coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Yo, it's me, everybody. What's up? If this really is Mega Godzilla, if it really, really is supposed to be the giant robot version of Godzilla from the films, the real answer that we really want to know, well, is this just a reference to Mega Godzilla? Or is this actually playing part in this season's final event? Well, we might already have the answers. A Fortnite trailer has been released online, revealing the first hint of what is coming in season two. At the launch of season two, everybody was super hyped for the Attack on Titans collaboration. But more specifically, the ODM Mythic Grappler. And it turns out, this mythic weapon has something to do with Godzilla. In the anime of Attack on Titans, this grappler is used to fight off the giants that attacked their kingdom. But as season two has gone on, we've not yet seen this mythic. Well, until now. This is the official trailer officially announcing the arrival of this mythic. This mythic that is designed to allow players to climb up to the highest height to fight giants. Okay, Max, but what is this got to do with Godzilla? You said this was related to Godzilla. Oh, well, it is. And check this out. A recent video we found at the Mega City. A signpost that when directly translated from Japanese to English, it literally says, beware of monsters. And literally Japanese speaking people actually managed to translate what was being said. And you can type it in on Google yourself. It literally translates to beware of monsters. So the question is, which kind of monsters do we need to be aware of? The giant attack on Titans monsters or Godzilla? A rumor is spreading online that the timing of all these Godzilla references and secrets happening literally whilst this grappler is being released seems to be a bit of a coincidence. Players believe that Epic Games is finally releasing this mythic because some kind of giant monster is about to make an appearance on our island. Hey, now look, we don't actually know whether Epic Games is going to introduce the Attack on Titans monsters because uh, that would actually be pretty cool. But with all this talk about Godzilla arriving to our Fortnite game, players believe that we might actually be seeing the arrival of some kind of giant Godzilla beast to our game. And these Attack on Titan mythic weapons are actually going to come in some use if the giant Godzilla comes to our game. He's going to be giant. So we the players are going to need to be able to get around our Fortnite islands and to maneuver around this giant beast without being taken out the game and stomped on. I'm sure you guys would agree with me. There may actually be nothing cooler in season two than using this grappler on the back of Godzilla. That would actually be sick. The date of this ODM gear mythic king on the 11th. This means we've only got a couple of days time until the official release of this mythic item and presumably the start of season two officially. That's right. I don't mean like officially like it hasn't already started but I mean like you know we haven't really seen anything crazy being added into the game yet apart from all these references. The first mega updates that would change Fortnite forever. Oh yeah instead of the first mega update 
make the first Giants update. Yo, that would be sick. And there are so many references to Godzilla. I mean, to Fortnite, like these. The Kaiju Cutter Big X. And it's literally in the Battle Pass. Uh, by the way, Godzilla is a Kaiju. That's why the Kaiju Cutter is in-game. <laughs> it's not just the sprays, but it direct references to the logos of Godzilla. It is not just the Japanese symbols that seem to also refer to a Godzilla-type boss coming to our game. But this is not the only trailer that has been released online. It seems the arrival of Godzilla to our Fortnite island has almost been fully confirmed. And we can see it in this leaked trailer. That leaked trailer. Hey, you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> yes, sir! Epic fight scene? Surprise! <laughs> Yo, little bro scrubbed off the map. We won't be seeing him again. A new challenger has approached. Ooh. Yes, 8 HP. We'll take it. Yes, don't worry. We're about to watch this insane trailer. I just need to teach this guy a quick lesson. Just bear with me. Stop laughing. Huh? What was that? Where are the laughs now, huh? Where are they? Yo, they don't stop lining themselves up, huh? <laughs> when are they gonna learn? Oh, no. Are you aiming at? What are you... Oh, they ain't learning today, huh? No, 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 no. Uh, I ain't letting you get away. Okay, he completely got away. I don't know how he did it. I don't know where he's gone. Uh, maybe he's, he's, he's back down there. I, I, I don't know where he is. Okay, whilst I try and find this guy, I'm gonna play the Godzilla trailer. I'll see you in a sec. around here. You can run, but you can't run forever. Catch up with you one way. Holy. I'm sorry, my bad. We actually got to see the first look at a possible Godzilla trailer. Collaboration with Fortnite. We got to see Peely, who takes part in pretty much every single Fortnite trailer ever. And of course, we got to see the giant beast rise straight out of the water. Godzilla. One of my favorite parts about this trailer was Godzilla with red eyes. Yo, that guy is terrifying. Of course, this trailer has been released online by a player who's been inspired by this upcoming Fortnite collaboration. So if you guys want to see the full trailer, make sure you go check the description below and check it out. You ain't ever seen anybody perform these kind of techniques. Bro. No. no! I know I always say, I know I literally always say, hey, third place is better than your last game. I don't want to hear you in the comment section. I don't want to hear it. Third place is bronze. Hey, bronze is better than not winning a medal at all. And not winning a medal at all is better than coming in last. So, hey, I'm going to take it. Try it. Uh, 